tonight. I want to uh, take up where I left off last time. But before I get into that, I wanted to show you a couple of books that I have. I mentioned Dr. Harry Benjamin's uh, book, The Transsexual Phenomenon. Now, this is exactly like the one that I had, that I bought when I was uh, 12 years old. Uh, but that book, I made the mistake whenever I was 18 or so, 19, loaning it to someone who wanted to, to learn about transsexuality because they were transsexual. They never returned it. They didn't realize how important it was to me. So I eventually found another copy. And of course, I had to pay dearly for this because now it's an antique book. But in the back of it, it's got some uh, before and after pictures. And these pictures, gosh, I was so excited when I saw these as, as a child that I could actually become a lady. These were the things that inspired me. I mean, you girls today have so much, but this is all we had back then, you know? We were lucky to have this. If it wasn't for Dr. Harry Benjamin, we wouldn't have had this. And so many of today's uh, transgender, transsexuals, they, they don't like to follow Harry Benjamin's standards of care. And one of the main reasons is he did not agree with making lesbians. Uh, he would not uh, sign papers for anyone that would uh, have become a lesbian after surgery. He said they, that the surgery and, and the transition was to make people's lives better. And he did not feel at that time that it was good to make a lesbian. We have to look at the climate of what the world was back then. Homosexuality was not viewed like it is today. It was really considered, uh, you know, deviates. So he was trying to help those people by, by not letting them become women. He said they would be better off to be husbands and fathers and, and to, to dress privately. That's what he believed. And for that reason, a lot of the transgender, transsexual people who, who uh, you know, that are lesbian now disapprove of him. So I, I want to say that in his defense, he was trying to help people in the best way he knew how. And if it wasn't for him, we would not have the, the transgender, transsexual community that we have today and all the success stories that came because of him. So, give him some slack, girls. Also, I have the original printing of Christine Jorgensen's book, A Personal Autobiography, and it's a signed copy with, with her signature. Of course, it wasn't assigned to me. I bought this on eBay. But I was so excited because it's an original copy and it's got uh, her pictures and things that were in it. They were in the original book. Uh, it's a great book. So those are two treasures that I have. 